Welcome to my YouTube channel. This evening I've made it out for a sunset shoot over to Canudan's Boathouse and to Lions Creek for a sunset shoot as I said but mm, sunset I'm really not too sure about it. Got broken cloud this evening for tonight's shoot. Really interesting skies but I'm not sure that there's going to be any gaps in the actual cloud for sunset itself. However though, sunset is about sort of 45 minutes away from where I am now, and hopefully the direction that the cloud is moving in, there may be a space on the horizon broken up with the sun being able to pop through, but who knows, who knows. It's uh, been quite some time since I've been out with the camera, almost a month, and the reason being is the weather has been absolutely absolutely awful over May. Um, some people have mentioned to me, and I do agree with them, it's kind of weather similar to the beginnings of uh, January, February and March time, let alone sort of uh, middle to end of May as it is at the moment. But um, yeah, who knows? Tonight, luckily enough, there's no rain forecast, hopefully, but we're out with a camera and that's the plus point, isn't it? So let's see what I come up with this evening. For the first composition I've got set up here is this waterway of Lions Creek. And why I picked this location for tonight's sunset is when I was looking at my um, app, my ephemeris app, where obviously the direction the sun would be setting, if the clouds weren't actually there, was kind of going to be on the right hand side of the edge of this pond, pool of water, body of water, creek, whatever it is. Um, and it was going to work out really quite nice as a composition. Looking back this way, you've got obviously the undulations or slight undulations of the ground around this area and with real big skies. Now, shooting around this area that I live, you need big dramatic skies to add that extra element to your uh, photos when you're out looking at compositions, etc. Because we've got nothing as such as mountains or anything else to fill the frame with, you need some dramatic skies. Luckily enough, as I said earlier, we've had real bad weather with lovely dramatic skies, but unfortunately it's been absolutely hammering it down with rain at the same time. So yeah, looking at that, the cloud is breaking up and it is getting really quite interesting. Yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed it might well work. There's a little bit of colour being caught in some of the clouds now. And a friend of mine has given me yes, given me some Grad ND filters. Now, you know who you are. I can't thank you so much for, for giving these filters to me. It's so kind of you. I won't name you, but you know who you are and you know that I am so grateful for that. So I know you watch all my content. Thank you ever so much for giving me these filters. And tonight, 
I'm using them for the first time. Now I've been given a 0 0.9, 0 0.6 and a 0 0.3 soft grad. Um, at the moment I've got the 0.9 soft grad on as we're getting some of the detail in the sky lighting up quite nicely but the foreground is very dark in comparison. I've got obviously the bank of green bushes and shrubbery here, then leading obviously to the creek and then up to the sky as well. And dropping in the grad filter, just so obviously it's just kissing the horizon line there with obviously the graduation of the filter, but still retaining the detail in the sky, which is fantastic. Now, settings for the camera, F11, ISO 100, half a second as the exposure but obviously with a 0.9 grad on as well and the polarizer working out really quite nice let's just hope that this cloud clears a little bit more so some more light can come through and we can obviously have a more of an interesting evening sun's burning through a little bit of a chunk where the, there's a gap in that cloud and lighting it up absolutely amazing orange color now i've got the camera with a lens on zoomed in about 90 odd mil still with the soft grad on because what i've got here is the line of the creek leading up to it the creek going off to the left but then the eye is going to be drawn to this lovely deep orangey colour that's streaking through down there right on the horizon line. Sky above it is very dark so I'm probably crop that out, leave a little bit of a room for the image to breathe in but it's going to be quite a sort of a, a letterbox crop on this image I feel. Uh, yeah working out really quite well. F11, ISO 100, one sixth of a second, yeah working out well and what lovely colours that it's picking out and that little bit of chunk of lovely orangey light is really making this image that little bit better now it's uh yeah looking a bit of touch and go to be honest but with this composition here you never know if that is a gap that the sun as it is setting with about 10 minutes to go may well illuminate all of this cloud that i've got here if it does it would be a miracle and if it does it will only last a short short while so i'm here i've got my camera it's got a battery in it hopefully hopefully it's going to work out but for that image yeah i'll put that one up on the screen now let's see if anything else turns up afterwards Okay, it's working. I don't know if I can quickly turn you around to actually see that. Let's see if it's going to work. Hopefully that'll darken it down. So this is what I'm looking at now. I've got the camera, 85, 90 mil. Lovely streaks that it's creating in this creek now. Let's try and wing it back, bring it back in as well. Drop that down a little bit more. Ah, oh, this is working out lovely. So I'm getting some really interesting light created on the actual uh, creek itself now. And yeah, this is working out lovely. Oh yes, this sun is working out fantastic. Now I'm in now about 30-ish mil just so I can obviously pull that. There's no color gonna be on the top of this image because obviously the cloud is there, but that, that break in the cloud, oh, 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 oh yes. This is why we do landscape photography, isn't it? This is why we do it. I may have just mucked that one up. Let's drop the grad back in, make sure it's working. Yes. So again, F11, ISO 100, focusing on the creek bank. 
0.6 of a second. Yeah, working out nice, working out nice. Really, really good. Loving, obviously, one of the reasons I wanted to come to this location is to get that bit of reflection off of this body of water. And yes, it is working out really quite nicely. Unfortunately, it's not casting any light behind me, so there's no compositions behind me. It's all in this direction. And that is working out really lovely now. And trouble is, though, you're looking into the sun, and uh, it's kind of blinding you a little bit, which is not obviously great when you're trying to come up with these compositions. Let's see if I can recompose slightly, keeping the level there. Yeah, working out really quite nice. Making sure that that histogram is okay. Not pushing it too much. That's working out quite well. Let's quickly flip this round while this is working. That's working out really quite nicely, quickly flipping it round into vertical orientation, working out well. Now I can see that it's disappearing behind the bank of cloud there on the horizon. But still, that is what it is. Let's see if I can just get that in. Yeah, that sun's gone now. But I've hopefully got a couple of compositions there. And that's the thing, isn't it? It's just really trying to work fast when you've got that real small, small gap of opportunity. And um, yeah, I could quite easily have been sitting at home on the sofa, not being here, not being out, not enjoying myself. Well, probably I would be watching some stuff on Netflix or whatever. But yeah, that sunset there, that, that small gap, is uh yeah really fantastic isn't it So it's worked out to be a really good shoot here uh, at Lions Creek and Canoodon Boathouse as you can just about make out over my shoulder. And it was wouldn't have been a great sunset if I wouldn't have actually been here, would it? Because I was able to capture several images of an unexpected sunset. When I turned up, the cloud was a lot more than I was hoping for. The weather apps were predicting about the right amount of cloud. So in fairness, they actually did get it right but you're always hoping. And to be frank, I could have just sat at home and not really bothered, but being out with my camera is always a plus, as I've said many, many times. And trying out the grad filters as well, absolutely excellent, I'm so pleased. And uh, again, thank you so, so much. You know who you are, absolutely great. Thank you so, so much. Anyway, hopefully you've really enjoyed today's vlog. I've captured many images. I'll obviously put them all up as well. Make sure you check them out if you wish to on my website, link in the description below where I put up all of my images of my vlogs so you can see them at higher resolution as well. So please check them out if you wish to. And thanks everyone for recently subscribing to my channel. Really do appreciate your support. Make sure though you give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed today's vlog. And until next time when I'm back out and about, take care, bye bye. I'll forget you now, can I? <laughs>